Hello. So as promised, uh, this week is going to be a light assignment. Uh, hopefully you have fun. It's going to be a drawing assignment where you are going to use a stick to lose a little bit of control as you draw from observation. And that can be observation from life or from pictures and books or photos. Uh, so first you're going to watch a video, a very short video about Joan Jonas, who's actually a famous artist. Um, who's or an artist who's famous for uh, experimental video. But in this clip, she talks about drawing. And so observe uh, what she says and also her drawing techniques, because that is what we will be emulating in this project. I don't think that you can ever really capture what, it, what it's like for an artist to be alone working on their work in the studio. I don't think that's possible. It's always a setup, you know. I mean, I got dressed in a certain way and I, I wanted it to, to look nice. I cleared up the mess, you know. It's just a very different situation. I'm not interested in having my private moments truthfully represented at all, because I don't think it's possible. I do this kind of work a lot. In this case, experimenting with how these drawings are just going to come out if I do them very fast with this particular tool and this ink. So it's almost accidental if they turn out or not. When I perform for the audience, I'm in another mode, another world. There's two categories of drawings. Drawings I do in performances and drawings I do just in my studio. Drawing is like practicing the piano because the first ones that I do often don't come out, so I have to practice and do it over and over again until I get what I like. So I have an owl that I got in Nova Scotia, and so I started drawing this owl. I'm interested in the mask-like quality of an owl's face. But it's not in my work, it's just part of my drawing archive. The love was pouring down my brain. TV zoomed in, of course. The love was pouring down my brain. Robert Ashley asked me to choreograph a movement and visual element for his opera, Celestial Excursions. He tipped his head again two or three times. The love was pouring down like rain. Then he just stood there crying. The love was pouring down like rain. So one of the things I did was make a lot of drawings like this very fast. And they're kind of approaching a cartoon-like method. I did for many years make drawings on my dog, Zena. I drew her a lot because she interested me. She was very strange looking. I haven't started drawing Ozu yet. Poodles are difficult to draw because they all look alike. I began to draw my dog with the organic honey piece. I was telling stories, referring to myth. And for me, the dog is in the same way that a horse is involved with 
a myth as being a helper or a cat. So for me, the dog is the animal helper. So that was the way I justified having the dog. But then I just simply became interested in drawing this image over and over again and making portraits. If you make a portrait of somebody, you have something about their character, of course. So I'm interested in getting that quality into the other drawings. Otherwise, I don't think they're very interesting. So what I'd like you to do is take some of the gouache that you have and water it down to make it kind of an ink-like consistency. So that's not a ton of water. Um, and you're just going to mix the gouache or even just put it in a jar and shake it up. If you use a jar, it's kind of nice because then you can go somewhere else and draw. Um, now that it is safe to go on trails, you might find that this is an assignment that you want to do uh, someplace uh, with parental permission, but in a safe outdoor spot. Uh, you can also do it inside. Either way is fine. But what you're going to do is you're going to make uh, an ink-like consistency with your gouache, and then you're going to get a stick. And this can be either a stick that you uh, collected for your kites, one that you find um, out in the woods or just even in a tree in a backyard, or it can even be the bamboo stick that you used for your um, your kite that I sent in the, you know, the bamboo sticks that are in the mat. So either way, I want you to use one of those sticks um, because they're nice and bouncy. And the, and the goal of this is to observe and draw, but also to kind of have a little bit of control um, that you can't have because the stick is bouncy. So what you want to do is you want to hold the stick from the end. It's going to be frustrating. It's not going to give you exactly what you want, but it will also teach you to kind of loosen up to be more sensitive to your drawing tool, to be more sensitive to what you're looking at. And it also just kind of give you a, an abstraction or a bit of a crazy line or um, give you more of an appreciation for um, what your mark looks like as you draw. So you each have an inherent mark that is unique to yourselves. And that is really, as an art student or artist, that's what you should be aiming at trying to find. Um, it's always good to practice and try realism and learn all the tricks and tools, but uh, the most important thing I think you can do is just find your mark and find what your mark looks like and know how you as an individual see things and create things. Um, and mark making is one of the greatest and easiest ways to find, um, find that out. So right now, and I apologize, this is really bright, so you can barely see the um, fence. But like I'm looking, I'm sitting at a desk that's right outside my place, and I'm looking at, I mean, this little sort of cul-de-sac I created that has a fence and then a car beyond that and another building beyond that. And right now, I am just painting in the fence. So now I'm trying a new piece where I am working with uh, a, just like a plant that was on my uh, back area and I'm just doing a little sketch of that um, as fast as I can. Not this fast, this is superhuman fast, but just as fast as I can, just trying part of the paper is even wet which creates a nice effect um, and just sketching it out. And I could just keep grabbing plants or rocks or something like that, but remember your goal is to work quickly work loosely and fill the whole page with these ink drawings.
last example, um, here I'm drawing from a picture. And so I'm very interested in shaker furniture. And I think that the simplicity of it um, has beautiful, beautiful lines. And so I have a bunch of books on shaker furniture. And um, this is just one in which uh, I found the table that I'm drawing. And so you can just see that I'm using, now I'm using the bamboo stick from the kite kit. And I am just using that and trying to remind myself to hold it from the end. My hand keeps flipping down or slipping down because it's just in natural to try to want. Um. So for Studio Art Project 7, um, you are going to fill at least two pages with uh, drawings. Use two of the pages of the thinner Kozo rice paper that I've sent you. Uh, for kite making and I want you to use a long stick dipped in watered down gouache um, and fill that page with drawings and you can draw from observation which is either real life like looking out your window at a tree or looking in your backyard or even your dog on the couch or you can draw from photos but I want you to draw from what you observe and think about working fast and expressively and uh, how Joe and Jonas uh, drew in those videos you saw. So don't be as worried about re realism or accuracy. I really want your focus to be on the subject matter that you're drawing and not on the results that you have. Uh, they will look beautiful regardless. Uh, and we'll use these drawings f as well as all the other papers and designs you make for your last two kites. Uh, so you'll need Kozo rice paper gouache that's watered down into an ink-like consistency and a stick at least 12 inches long for drawing with and this is going to be due next monday may 18th during your block along with the finished hexagonal kite so if you haven't finished that yet that is okay that is not due um, it's due this week but it's also remember because of the late video i said i there's a everybody has a grace period till the 18th so um Hopefully this is a light enough project that you'll be able to get both done easily. All right, have a great week.